So this video is entitled, Has Martin Murray Already Lost to Gennady Golovkin? And what this relates to is an article that I read on Boxing Scene. still available on the site, but I'll give you a few quotes from that. I'm just going to read it from a mobile phone. Uh, I don't see any weaknesses in Golovkin, to be honest. With Martinez and Sturm, they had both been beaten, so we were able to see chinks in their armour and study them before I fought them. With Golovkin, he has never been beaten or knocked down. And he has not sewn any chinks in his armour just yet. He's younger and fresher than Sturm and Martinez were when I fought them as well. Murray goes on to say, All I know is I'm ready to go 12 tough rounds with Golovkin. It's about finishing the fight with no regrets, knowing I've trained harder over 12 weeks than I have and felt fitter than I ever have. To me, this is not a positive quote for a fighter to be coming out with ahead of the biggest test of his career. It's all good to respect your opponent. Take a look at Paul Smith versus Arthur Abraham. There's clearly some sort of respect between those two guys. But getting to the point where you're praising them to this extent, getting to the point where you're saying you can't see any chinks in their armour, is negative in my opinion. With Martin Murray already saying for him it's about finishing this fight with no regrets and that he's trained harder than ever before, well, I'm getting a distinct impression that he's already accepting defeat. I think when you start getting to the point where you're talking about, you know, if I lose I won't have any regrets, you're already contemplating that. Now, for me... This is negative. For me, this suggests that Martin Murray has analysed GGG, he's looked at tapes of him fighting, and he doesn't see an easy way of beating Gennady Golovkin. Uh, to say there's no chinks in his armour, I think that's an overstatement. I mean, Golovkin's good, but he's not that good. If you look at the uh, the Adamu fight, if you look at maybe uh, the Daniel Gill fight, where he famously left himself open and caught that punch before the knockout, you know, Golovkin has done really, really well. I'm not saying he hasn't. But say there are no chinks in his armour, I think he's overstating it. And I am slightly worried that Martin Murray is going into this fight with a losing mentality. Now, as I've already predict predicted in my channel, I do think Golovkin could potentially be beatable, but not by Martin Murray. Murray, tough, strong, durable, big, technical, defensive. Maybe he's got enough to survive, but what he doesn't have is... The offensive capability, the speed, the power, the combinations, the inside game. You know, whilst I think he could survive against Golovkin, maybe even go the distance, I just don't see him having the game to break Golovkin down, to outpoint him or to knock him out. Maybe Martin Murray realises that, you know, styles make fights, as you say, and uh, he doesn't have the style, perhaps, to beat GGG at this stage. But either way, for me, it's a negative coming out with a statement like that before the fight. On the contrary, I should perhaps talk briefly about Paul Smith. I initially didn't give Paul Smith any chance in the first fight with Abraham. On hearing that there was a rematch, I probably gave him even less a chance. But he's a guy who's talking me into actually believing that he can win. You know, Paul Smith I don't view as a big puncher. And Arthur Abraham's got a, you know, real fantastic chin. But I almost found myself believing that Paul Smith was going to knock Arthur Abraham out listening to him the other day. This is a guy who's fully determined. This is a guy absolutely ready for war. And this is a guy who genuinely seems to believe that he is going to win. And that this is destiny to get that belt off Abraham. I think going into the biggest fight of both of these guys' lives... I'd much rather be carrying in the statements and the confidence that Paul Smith is outwardly projecting than being in Martin Murray's situation. Certainly not a criticism of Murray. I hope he does the job. But I viewed both Paul Smith and Martin Murray as having very limited chances against their opposition. And now, having watched the build-up to the fight, I'm starting to think Paul Smith could be competitive. Martin Murray, less so. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching.